Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from ComputerGarGar.com. In this video, we're going to look at how to round values to the nearest 0.5 or the nearest half. So I've got a little list of numbers on my spreadsheet and we're going to look at three different Excel formulas that can do this. And I've listed these on the spreadsheets in column D here. So you can visually see what I'm going to do, what I'm going to use before I use it. Now the first demonstration is a function called ceiling. And that will round the values up to the nearest 0.5. Then we're going to look at floor, which will round them down to the nearest 0.5. And then one called M round, which will round it up or down to the nearest 0.5. So depending on your requirement, there is a function for your needs. And the great news really is that they're also all written in the same way. So if I start to write my ceiling function in here and I choose my ceiling function, which will round the value up to the nearest multiple of significance. So it does a lot more than just 0.5. We can use any decimal that we wish. But I'm going to select my number, which is cell A1 right now and choose my significance, which is 0.5. And if I run this, this should round it up to two because that is the next 0.5 rounding. And if I copy it down, see it does the business always rounding up to the nearest 0.5. Now, if I go into that formula again and just change the word ceiling to floor, we have one that will round down. Now it's written exactly the same, so I don't have to worry about changing anything. It just wants the number and then the significance. And now we are rounding down. So that 4.1 goes to 4 instead of 4.5. The last example was one called M round. And once again, it's the same questions, the number and then what they call a multiple this time, but it's the same two answers, A1 and 0.5. And now we have a version of a function that will round it up or down, but to the nearest 0.5. So they all do the job of rounding to the nearest half. Just depends whether you want to always round these things up, whether you always want to round them down or whether it will be up or down depending on the decimal value. So for example, 4.1 has gone down, but 0.8 has gone up because of the decimal value. I hope you found this video useful. Please check out some of our other video tutorials on our YouTube channel. Come check us out at computergargar.com.